I may be sitting down, but there was certainly no one sitting down at the end of the second game of this doubleheader of the Copperheads against the Grand Lake Mariners. I'll tell you that what happened on Father's Day certainly separated the men from the boys. The Copperheads' four-game winning streak snapped with a 4-2 loss in the first game, but the second game would be another extraordinary showing. Down by six runs after the fifth, once again the sixth inning was the start of something big. Billy Cribb's only hit of the evening was a crucial one, a double scoring two that helped cut the lead to three. Infielder Ryan Jones says the team is always ready to fight. I mean this team, we have a bunch of good guys here and everybody's ready to compete whenever they're called upon. And tonight it was Barnes and uh, the whole group uh, just just putting together a huge inning, especially the sixth inning again. We had a big inning to get us back in the game. Trey Pop's three-inning, two-hit performance gave the team time to set up another classic comeback. Of course, they would hold out until the last possible moment, and it was small ball that did the job. In the bottom of the ninth, three runs scored with only one hit because the Snakes took advantage of errors and used alert base running. Hitting coach Culver says the team knows it's not all about hits. It's the drive. These kids really want to do something. They really want to make sure that they're not being selfish. They're getting the next person up, next person up, and you saw that tonight. We didn't get that many hits. We put up six hits on the board, but we put up nine runs. We put up runs, and we make things happen. With Zach Sterling no hitting the Mariners into extras, the door was wide open for a win, and Brian Barnes closed the door. His single scored Spencer Payne for the 10-9 victory. Jones tells us how it feels. Uh, just to tie it up in the ninth was great and just to see that we competed that hard and finally got our victory at the end was uh, uh, worth every, every minute. Coach Culver only has good things to say about the team after a thrilling weekend. After this weekend, these guys are just a good group of kids. They never die. Uh, we call them the Cheds. Like they're always hidden, always hidden. I'm real impressed with our hitters that came in here. It's a big uh, upspring from last year's hitting. Um, these guys are just out there, are hustling, playing hard every day. I love it. Love being this coach. The win pulls the team up to 5-2, and two, but they fall to second in the Great Lakes Summer Collegiate League. So after watching these improbable comebacks, if you aren't encouraged to get yourself to Bob Run Stadium to see these copperheads, well, it's time for you to get snake bitten.